Hey all, VGP here, and I have a review today from Clickwood. Uh, Clickwood is owned by uh, Demooch and Freeze from the TVA podcast crew, and uh, they sent me their four flavors to review for you. I will be reviewing Candy Ass, Outsider's Edge, Sweet Chin Music, and Big Daddy Cool today. Um, I have pre-tested these uh, because there was menthol in them and I wanted to see what they would work best in and so this is my opinion of what they work best in um, so let's get started shall we okay candy ass um, is a apple menthol vape and uh, to me it needs to be tanked uh, I dripped it and about blew myself out it's got a very strong menthol hit to it um, which is great just not on a dripper <laughs> at least not at 0.4 um, if you're doing a higher ohm um, or a higher sub ohm, you might be able to get away with it, but for me, no. Um, the, the vapor production is a little muted in this because I have it in a tank uh, versus having it in a dripper. Um, that I was just vaping was the candy ass, and I still, to me, it's got a great apple flavor to it, but it's still a little too menthol y for me uh, compared to the other ones. Um, you know, I, I have, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I, because I veer away from menthol vapes on the general. Um, that I'm just not accustomed to them now and so to me they are over you know that one is over mentholated um, but taste is subjective guys to keep this in mind I'm just giving you guys an overview of what the flavor profile is it's up to you to try it out and see whether you would like it or not um, so the next one I'm going to do is called Big Daddy Cool and Big Daddy Cool is a mixture of coffee, menthol, and tobacco. And I saw this one and I was like, ugh, I don't know about that. But I actually like it. I like it quite a bit. Um, to me, it's got like this caramely undertone to it. It's got a strong coffee flavor on the inhale. You get that menthol which makes it almost seem like it's an iced coffee. Um, but you get like this caramel tobacco in the back note. It's it's not an overly strong tobacco um, but it's really really quite delightful with the coffee blend. I'm really really liking this one. Okay, the next one is the Outsider's Edge. An Outsider's Edge is an apple cider, and it is so, so, so good. Sorry for the vapey vapies, guys. It is a very, very good apple cider, and I am not one to normally like apple cider vapes, but that one I really, really like. Um, I really can't say enough good things about it. You get this apple cinnamony, but not over cinnamonish. Um, I smelled it, and I was like, "Ooh, I could almost wear that as perfume if there wasn't nick in it." It just—it reminds me of fall, and you know going out to the fall festivals with friends and having apple cider that's exactly what it reminds me of it takes me back uh, to being a teenager really um, and sweet chin music is um, the description is kinda hard it's it's another cider vape but it's got some berry and some pear in there and it smells really really good as well I think I like the sweet chin music better than I do the Outsider's uh, Edge um, just because it's got a little bit of something extra in there. Um, I'm not going to vape that one because I don't have an extra device to use um, in front of me but I really did enjoy it. So in my opinion um, I would do the Sweet Chin Music, the Outsider's Edge, then Big Daddy Cool and Candy Ass would be my least favorite out of the four. Um, not that it's a bad vape, just for me, it is one that is a little overly mentholated um, in that department. 
overall, I think it's a great line. Um, it is Max VG, uh, and they do have uh, 30 ml bottles and 120 ml bottles available. Um, the 30 mils are 18 bucks. Uh, 120 mils is 60 bucks. It looks like they do have an option uh, for 50/50 blend, um, and you know they they've got some some deals going on right now. They have buy two get one free. Um, the fifth flavor is being released next week. Uh, it looks like they have some sample packs uh, of the four current flavors, which are what I have right here. These are $14.99 on the site. And they do have a small package deal for $62. Bucks. You can get all four flavors uh, together. And they have a rumble pack, which has a little wrestling ring, because most of these names are named after wrestling stuff. Um, I don't have the back note information on that, but I'm sure it has something to do with one of their podcasts. If you have not caught TVA's uh, podcast, when you click on the click uh, the Clickwood website, there is a link to the TVA information as well. Check them out because they are hilarious people and uh, very very fun to hang around. And uh, yeah, I can't say much more. They're great people. It's good juice. The only one I really probably wouldn't vape again is the candy ass but that's my personal preference um so check them out and until next time guys vape on and vape strong